All right, Richard Rockwell, we're out here in Oregon. Actually, in the Oregon State Wrestling Room. Richard, I want to talk about the wrestling pilgrimage. You actually contacted me and sent me an email about it. Tell us what, what, where you went, how many guys you took, and, and what the whole trip was about. Um, the wrestling trip was something that uh, we kind of came up with at our school. The school I coach at is a pretty small school over in eastern Oregon. Um, not huge into wrestling, but we've had you know some, some pretty good kids come out of our program. And uh, we decided, you know, we needed to change some things up in our area. Um, we have, uh, you know, a lot of poor kids, kids that um, usually the only time they've ever seen any parts of the country is for wrestling. And so... Um, and it's Fargo a yeah, lot of the time. Yeah. And so we've had a few kids that have been to Fargo and stuff, and we thought, you know, let's do something else with this. And so how can we get some of our other kids that don't make it to Fargo, you know, um, experience wrestling outside of Oregon? And um, I started contacting some people and uh, got a hold of uh, somebody at the, in Colorado uh, Springs. Uh, got a hold of Eric Aiken, um, contacted the Dan Gable Museum. Um, and then our head coach uh, contacted some other people. And we kind of put this whole trip together where it was going to be a two-week trip. And we were kind of calling it a wrestling pilgrimage where we were going to take a group of our wrestlers from our school and we were going to travel around the country and we were going to wrestle at all these different schools, locations, you know, visit different sites, uh, you know, like Mount Rushmore, you know, stuff like that as well, so do some sightseeing and just, you know, learn wrestling from other people. Um, how did you raise the money? How, how did you make um, some in, in our area, like I said, we, uh, you know, uh, our socioeconomic uh, um Dynamic, I guess, is what you would say in our in our areas, and not a whole lot of rich people live there, and so we have a lot of migrant kids, a lot of Hispanic kids. That soccer's really big, but wrestling's still really new, and so um, we find odd jobs for the kids. We have a lot of farms in our area. The people that we've made contact with in the past are really good about, hey, um, you know, we need help pulling weeds, or we need help baling hay, or we need help moving pipe, or or something, and we'll take a group of kids out there. And, um, you know, they'll work and the people will pay them for it. You know, we've helped people move. We've uh, recycled scrap metal last year. Um, you know, we've raffled things. We've uh, just done all sorts of things, car washes, you name it. You work it. for it. They yeah, work we for basically it. work for it. And in our area, we have a lot of Oregon State grads. You know, my dad and my uncle went to Oregon State. All of their buddies from high school went to Oregon State. And so they understand the whole wrestling thing, even though my dad never wrestled, you know, um, I don't have anybody in my family that ever wrestled, and so, um, but they understand, they were around when Dale was here, and they all know who Dale is, and so they, they're very supportive of what we're, we were doing, and so, um, like I said, we found all these jobs for them, they paid them, um, we got the cost down, we bought um, the kids gear, you know, made them, had them embroidered coats, some shirts, some shorts, um, we paid for all their meals. Um, I took my wife's van, much to her displeasure, because we have a few kids at home. Um, our head coach took his truck, and we loaded up ten kids that raised the money, and we took off. You know, I Doesn't took. Doesn't sound like it was the most. It was a little packed a little bit. Huh? Yeah, it was packed a lot. I mean, you know, it's seat, my van seats seven, the coach's truck seats six, and he had one spot open. We took it was twelve people total, and I took my two older sons with me, so they're little, and so it worked out pretty good. And then a couple of younger guys, and then we took a group of high school young high school kids that um, we think are gonna you know do do really well for us in the future. And um, like I said, we just plotted out this trip, and you know, and just had at it. Okay, you are a big supporter of Oregon wrestling in general. I see you on a lot of the, the computer, I guess, mm -hmm. forums, and uh, you're a big flow wrestling guy. I know yep. that. Uh, what's important for you, for people to know about the state of Oregon, and maybe what you do, and what you know the wrestling program is is there for, and what you know why it's important to be a, a staff member on the Fargo team. And, you know, you know uh, why? What's important to you for people to know about you? Uh, I just I just love wrestling. I mean, it was an important part of my life growing up. I, I got a late start into wrestling. Um, didn't start really until I was an eighth grader. Um, really liked it. Was only a league champion when I was growing up. We were in a pretty tough league, but you know, won a couple, won some matches at state. Um, and then I decided I wanted to keep wrestling. I wrestled some JUCO for a while and got married, had some kids. But I, I liked wrestling enough that I still wrestled some open stuff or whatever. And was never great, but I loved coaching. 
Um, I was fortunate enough to work under a really, a really positive guy that uh, kind of put me under his wing. Um, uh, he's married to, or his son is married to uh, uh, Patricia Miranda, who is an Olympic wrestler, and uh, I still keep in touch with him. My oldest son is named after him. Um, you know, I had a lot of respect for him, and he really showed me the ropes on coaching. And I just loved it, and so. As I got older um, and my kids got older, um, I had to make a choice whether I was going to uh, coach more or I was going to just be a dad. And um, I wanted to be able to coach my kids more. And so I had a job out of town. I quit my job, got a job at the, the high school I coach at. Didn't make nearly as much money, but I get to coach full time. Um, I coach our junior high program, our kids club program. I'm an assistant high school coach. And then um, I coach freestyle in Greco, and then um, I really wanted to get our, free, our kids going into freestyle, and I applied for uh, the cadet position to coach a couple of years ago, and I went to Fargo and really liked it. And I've been on the junior staff the last, this will be my second year on juniors, um, and just love it, you know. And we've taken kids in the past. This year I didn't take any kids because they all went on this pilgrimage. But, um, you know, and I, I'm all about promoting the sport. I mean, it's it's. You know, you understand with flow, it's it's a very under under promoted sport in our country, and so I'm really big about trying to promote wrestling in Oregon. Um, I developed a website uh, for Oregon wrestling that um, I do all the high school rankings, um, and I keep track of all of the stats, all the dual meets, all the tournaments. People send me results. What is your website? Uh, the Oregon Wrestling Forum. And I've seen that a couple of times. Oregon Wrestling Forum. No, I've seen it a couple times. Oh, you've times. seen it yeah, a couple yeah. times? Yeah. And um, I do that, and it keeps me pretty busy. Um, the school I work at, they're pretty supportive about They understand that's part of wrestling, and they let me uh, work on it as much as I can at work, and so I don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it at home, you know, and spend more time away from my family, um, you know. And so I do all that stuff, and, you know, and the, the pilgrimage was just another idea about promoting the sport, not necessarily just... Um, for Oregon wrestling, but for my own kids um, at our program. And, you know, I think at work we met a lot of interesting people on the trip. Um, we got to hang out with Eric Aiken, and that guy's a blast. And I even, at one time back in 2000, I wrestled him in Corvallis in Gill Coliseum at, um, it was the Northwest Regionals. And he was just like one of those guys that USA Wrestling wanted to come to the various uh, tournaments to promote and stuff and I was trying to cut down to believe it or not 119 pounds and I didn't make it and so I uh, had to wrestle up and Eric wasn't cutting any weight and so he wrestled up and I won my first match and then had to wrestle Eric my second match and Eric you know uh, I was about six seven inches taller than him and he just he just destroyed me. But it was, you know, it was awesome because I just loved wrestling. And so uh, he doesn't recall that. But, uh, you know, we got to shoot the breeze when we came and stayed with him. And kids stayed at his house. And they loved him. And, you know, and they're still talking about it. And so it's pretty cool. Um, we went and visited the Olympic Training Center, hung out there. The kids, you know, and part of the tour is the, the wrestling room. And they got to see one of our uh, Oregon wrestlers, Brock Crutches, was there. And so some of the kids remember him from Nationals last year. And talk with him and uh, Jason Chow who's been on the coaching staff for Fargo before he was there and he ran one of the sessions that we worked out with at Coronado High School where uh, Henry Cejudo graduated from um, you know we went and stayed at the Gable Museum for two days we uh, worked out at Boise State we worked out at I can't remember what I think it was Central High School in Cheyenne Wyoming we worked out at a place in uh, Sioux Falls. I can't recall what the school's name was. And then we went to Rapid City, um, who finished second to uh, the Sturgis program that was pretty good this year. And they had some pretty good kids. And Eric Aiken's team in Kansas was pretty good, too. And so some of our better kids got some really good matchups. It was good. Cool. Well, hey, Richard, thanks for the time, man. Hey, no problem. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to let you guys get back to it here. You guys... Uh... Got a, you're on break, and I don't want to take all your guys' break up. Yeah. Thanks for the time. Man. All right, thank you.